What up, ladies and gentlemen? It is White Gamer. Today we have the best winger build for level 25, level 50, level 75, and level 100. This one's for level 25. So for your position, you're gonna go with right winger or left winger. Height, we're gonna go with five, six. For your weight, we're gonna go with 99 pounds. You wanna be as light as possible as a winger. Now, for your running style, I recommend too. The T-Rex is really good when you're running with the ball. It just makes your pro feel agile because your pro has your wrist facing down or the morning sunshine has your arms really spread out. All up to you guys. Running styles are just personal preference. We're gonna go with the T-Rex because I think it's a very good running style for a winger. Now, for the play style plus, you're only gonna have two on lock. You're gonna have a first touch and you're gonna have a defending one. Go with the first touch plus at level 25. And as soon as you get to level 26, guys, as soon as you get to level 26, go with the long ball pass plus, guys. Remember, at level 25, you're gonna have the first touch plus, but as soon as you hit level 26, go with the long ball pass plus because it's a very, very good one. And since you're playing winger, sometimes you're gonna need to switch it or do a little chip balls to find your teammate. And this one's very, very good. Now, for your regular play style, the first two I definitely recommend is, is the Rapid because it's allowed for your pro to take good touches when you're running or sprinting with the ball down the wing. The next one I recommend is the Quick Step. It's going to allow for your pro to accelerate quicker. Then the third play style, everyone, this is all up to you and how you play winger. If you're the type of winger that crosses a lot into the box, then go with the Whip Pass because it's going to allow for the ball to travel much quicker and it will have curve when you're crossing into your teammates inside the box you can also go with the finesse shot if you're the type of winger that likes to shoot from outside the box you can go with finesse shot so this last play style it's all up to you and how you play it we're gonna go with the whip pass because i know most wingers tend to cross in the box so these are the three play styles regular and the play style plus that we went with for level 25. now for the skill tree level 25 you're only gonna have 43 skill points so focus on acceleration and then there's one sprint speed this will give you 85 acceleration and 83 sprint speed. It's not the greatest, but there's other important stats as well. There should be more than enough pace to get by your opponents. So we're going to go like this. And then for shooting, you're going to get the four-star weak foot. This will boost up your shot power as well. Shot power is very important. But the most important thing from the shooting is the weak foot. As a winger, you want to be able to pass with both of your foot and shoot with both of your foot. So you don't make it obvious to your opponent, which is your strong foot. Now, for the dribbling, you're going to get the agility, you're going to get the maestro archetype, and then you're going to get this dribbling right here. So this will give you 98 agility, which is very good. The agility is going to allow you to turn quick on certain turns. You have 80 balance. It's going to determine how often your pro falls. And you have 82 ball control with the 93 dribbling, and of course, a four-star skill move. And we back out, everyone. You're going to be an 82 rated winger. But guys, don't worry about the overall. What matters is the individual stats. You have 83 pace. You have 72 shooting, but you have the four-star weak foot, the passing. This will be more than enough for now. And then you have the most important stat is the dribbling with 89. This was for level 25. Now we have level 50 winger. Again, your position, either left wing or right wing. Heights, this time we went up two inches. So you're going to be five, eight. And then your weight is going to stay the same, 99 pounds. You want to be very light as a winger. For the running style, the first one I recommend is the T-Rex. Or you can go with the morning sunshine. Remember, guys, running styles don't affect your stats or anything like that. It's just a visual thing. Certain running styles will help your pro run better on the ball, depending on your position. Highly recommend the T-Rex or the morning sunshine. All up to you. We're going to go with the T-Rex. Now we have the play style plus. You're still going to have one slot available. There's a couple options you can go with, guys. You can go with the finesse shot plus, which is very good for inside the box or outside the box when you're taking finesse shots. You can go with the long ball pass plus. Um, you can also go with a first touch plus. All up to you guys. I recommend going with the finesse shot plus, at least for level 50, guys. This is going to be very good so you can take shots outside the box as a winger because sometimes your teammates are going to be covered and you might need to take a shot. And if it's a finesse shot, you're most likely going to score. So go with a finesse shot plus for your first one. Now, for your regular play styles, the first one you can go with Again, there's a couple options. You can go with incisive pass. That's going to determine how accurate the through balls are. If you're the type of winger that crosses a lot inside the box, then you can go with the whip pass. This would be very good for crossing inside the box. So all up to you and how you play a winger, guys. If you're the type of winger that passes way more on through balls in the ground than crossing, then go with incisive. So we're going to go with incisive. Again, you can go with whip pass as well. The next one is rapid. Just as I mentioned in the last level, when you're running down the wings, your pro won't take those heavy touches when you're running is really good the next one you want is the quick step just gonna allow your pro to accelerate quicker it takes about like five seconds to kick in next one we have the technical this will allow you to 
keep the ball very tight to your feet when you're doing the R1 or the RB dribbling, which is like the messy type of dribbling. And it's a very, very good one. Then the last one, guys, you have two options. You can go with the Relentless because right now at level 50, the stamina is really low for a winger. This will help you recover your stamina at halftime or extra time. Or you can go with Travella, guys. All up to you. I would recommend going with Travella so you can do outside the foot shots or passes. The level 50, you're only going to have five slots on lock. And then you're going to have one play style plus. So these are the play styles that we went for. Now we have the skill tree for level 50. You're going to get the first archetype, which will be the Cheetah archetype. This will give you 94 acceleration and 93 sprint speed, which is very, very, very good. This should be more than enough pace to outrun any human defenders and for the most part, bots. Now for shooting, again, we're going to go with a four-star weak foot. You want to be able to pass and shoot with both of your foot. So the four-star weak foot will be more than fine for just now. Now for passing, we're going to get some short passing and vision and long passing. To be honest, the most important stat here is the vision just because you have good play styles. If you went with incisive pass, that means your through balls are going to be very good. And if you went with the whip pass, that means your crossing are going to get more affected. But just go with this for now. This will be more than enough to find your nearby teammates or if you need to do a long ball. Now for dribbling, you're going to get the agility and then you're going to get the whole middle completely filled out. Get the four star reflow, get the maestro archetype. So this will give you 97 agility. 85 attacking positioning that only matters if you're playing as an any and you're controlling the other bots and your pros make and run by himself and you have 81 ball control with 94 dribbling in the four star skill move these are some really good dribbling stats for level 50 if we back out take a look at the summary as mentioned before guys don't worry too much about the overall but instead worry about the individual stats 93 pace you got the four star weak foot you got decent passing it's almost in the 80s 89 dribbling probably the most important stat from a winger but this was for level 50. now we have level 75 winger built again position either right wing or left wing your height we're gonna go with 59 your weights are gonna go with 99 pounds you do want to be light as possible as a winger again the two running styles that i've been recommending the entire video has been the t-rex and the morning sunshine all up to you you can go with whichever one you prefer the most just to remind everyone Running styles do not affect your stats or anything like that. Just a visual thing, but it's good to have a running style for different builds and the position. Highly recommend the T-Rex. I think it's a very good one. It feels super agile when you're running with the ball. Now we have the playstyle plus. So at level 75, you're going to have everything unlocked. The, the first one I recommend is the rapid plus, guys. This one's very good because it's going to allow for you to sprint at even higher speeds. And then when you're dribbling with the ball or sprinting with the ball down the wing, your pro won't take those heavy touches forward, which is good. Now, for your second one, guys, this all depends on how you play as a winger. You can go with the finesse shot plus. This one's very good if you're the type of winger that takes a lot of shots, especially finesse shots from outside the box or even inside the box. You can go with the whip pass plus. If you're the type of winger that crosses a lot into the box, but I feel like the regular version is just fine. The long ball pass plus is also very good for finding your teammates really far out in the pitch or if you need to do a specific certain chip. Um, that one's very good as well. You can also go with the technical plus. This will allow for your pro to keep the ball very close to your feet when you're doing the R1 and RB dribbling. You can also go with the quick step plus, guys. Like I said, all up to you. The one I recommend, uh, the two that I really recommend is the finesse shot plus and the quick step plus. We're going to go with the quick stat plus because this is going to allow for your pro to accelerate much, much quicker and it kicks in much quicker than the regular version. Now, for your regular play styles, the first one I recommend is the finesse shot, guys. Definitely recommend this so you have an option to shoot from outside the box or inside the box when you have this finesse shot. Not always are your teammates going to be open, so sometimes you might be open. Why not have a go? The next one I recommend is the whip pass. It's going to allow for your pro to cross in the box with much more accuracy and curve, and it's super noticeable. You can go with the regular version. The next one I recommend is the technical when you're a jog speed and you're doing the R1 or RB dribbling. It's going to make it much, much quicker to do those turns when you're doing the R1 RB dribbling. The next one I recommend is the press proven, guys. This is going to allow you to shield the ball and protect it much better when you're being challenged by defenders or anyone else in the pitch. And it's very, very good and super noticeable because you can do skill moves and then you can shield the ball at the same time and it just makes it difficult 
for opponents to get you off the ball. Now, for the last two guys, I definitely recommend the Relentless, guys. Definitely recommend it. You're going to be running a lot as a winger. So what this play style will do is it's going to help you recover your stamina at halftime and during extra time. So I definitely recommend you guys to have the Relentless. And then last but not least, guys, you can go with a couple options. You can go with some passing. You can go with incisive pass to make your through balls much better. And it's a very noticeable. You can also go with Travella, guys. It's going to allow you to activate the outside the foot shot or the pass. All up to you and how you play winger, guys. Like I said, if you're the type of winger that passes a lot, a lot of through balls, go with this one. Um, if you don't do too many through balls, go with the Travella, guys. The Travella shot and the Travella passes are very good. So these are the play styles and the play style plus that we win for level 75. So now we have the skill tree for level 75. You're going to have 117 skill points. You're going to get the Cheetah Archetype. This will give you 92 acceleration and 94 sprint speed. There should be plenty, plenty of pace. We'll max it out later. Now for the shooting, you're going to get the four star weak foot. And then you're going to get the five star weak foot. As a winger, you want to be able to shoot with both of your foot. You don't want to make it obvious to your opponent, which is your strong foot. Not only shoot with both of your foot, but pass with both of your foot. So this will also give you 82 finishing. So if you're ever in the box and you need to have a, a shot, you can also do that. And you have some decent enough shot power. 75 is not the greatest, but it's more than enough. Now, for the passing, you get a short pass, long pass, and then you're going to focus on vision, guys. Focus on the vision because the vision is going to determine how accurate the short pass, the long pass, and the crossing comes out. So focus on the vision. That's the most important thing. The 83 short passing is more than enough. The 72 long pass, trust me, it's more than enough. If you went with the incisive pass, the through balls are still going to be accurate. But as long as you focus on the vision, that's the most important thing. And you have 82 curve, which is decent enough. Now, for the dribbling, you're going to get everything filled out. Get the dribbling. Get the four-star refill. Get the maestro archetype. Then for this right side, you're going to get balance, ball control. And then, guys, listen very carefully. For this balance, make sure it says two out of two. It says two out of two for balance. This will give you 96 agility. You guys are going to be turning very, very quick. 83 balance. The balance is going to determine how often your pro falls when you're being challenged. Remember, you also went with the press proven, which will help out with this balance. So it's going to be very difficult to get... The the ball off your pro and you have 86 ball control with 98 dribbling and a four star skill move this is some very good dribbling all around for the level 75 build and then last but not least guys i definitely recommend you to get stamina and then make sure you get the other reaction guys make sure the reactions is two out of two the stamina and reactions are very very important as a winger the reactions is going to allow your pro to react quick to the ball as you're about to receive it and then you can just take off and then the stamina of course you're going to be running a lot in the wings, so you want to boost that stamina. 88 stamina should be plenty. Also, if you went with the relentless play style that I mentioned in the beginning of this level 75, the stamina will recover much quicker, and it will give you way more stamina throughout the remainder of the game. Now, boys and girls, we'll be back out. As I've been saying in throughout the whole video, don't worry about the overall. What really matters are the individual stats. 93 pace. For shooting, you have the five-star weak foot. You have 82 finishing. You can take some shots from inside the box. Then you have 80 passing. Most important thing from the passing is the vision and some curve with 92 dribbling. This was for level 75. Now we have level 100 winger built. Again, you're positioning either right wing or left wing. Height to wingle with 5'11". It's actually pretty good to have some height as a winger. So you can eye jump your fullbacks or even sometimes your center back. Then weights, we're going with 99 pounds. You do want to be very, very light as a winger so you can maneuver around the defense and turn quicker now for the running style the one i've been recommending has been the t-rex and the morning sunshine remember guys running styles do not affect your stats it's a visual thing for certain builds it's good to have running styles because it might help you run better with the ball i definitely recommend using the t-rex has your wrist facing down and it just feels super agile when you're running with the ball and trying to skill with it so definitely recommend the t-rex for your running style now, for your play style plus, the first one I recommend is the Rapid Plus, guys. It's going to reduce the chances of your pro taking heavy touches when you're sprinting or running down the wings. Super good. Now, the second one, guys, is all up to you and how you play winger, guys. If you're the type of winger that shoots from outside the box or um, shoots a lot, definitely recommend the Finesse Shot Plus, guys. This one is very, very good, whether you're outside or inside. It has so much curve and accuracy that makes it difficult for goalkeepers to save it. Uh, you can also go with a whip pass plus, but I think the regular version is just fine. This will just allow your crosses to come out with accuracy and more curve. 
Another one is a quick stat plus. This one's also very, very good. Technical plus, another good one. So like I said, it's all up to you and how you play. Winger, I recommend going with the uh, quick stat plus or the finesse shot. Um, we're going to go with quick stat. This will allow your pro to accelerate much, much quicker. Now, for your regular play style, I definitely recommend have a finesse shot, guys. Sometimes your teammates are going to be covered. You're going to be open. Why not have a finesse shot? It's very good. For the second one, I recommend the whip pass. Um, especially if you're the type of winger that crosses a lot to your striker or to whoever's in the box. It's good to have that. You can also go with the incisive pass as well. This is going to allow your through balls to be more accurate. So all up to you guys for uh, the passing one. The next one is the technical. This is going to allow your pro to reach higher speeds when you're performing the control sprint, which is R1 and RB dribbling. Pretty much the ball is going to be very close to your feet and you can maneuver or turn really quick with the ball. The next one I recommend is the press proven. This will keep the ball very close to you when you're jogging with the ball. And when an opponent is starting to outbody you and you're shielding the ball with LT or L2, it's going to make it difficult for them to knock you off the ball. And it's a very, very, very good one, guys. The next one I definitely recommend is the relentless. You're going to be doing a lot of running as a winger. This will help you recover your stamina at halftime or even extra time. And it's very, very noticeable, guys. And then the last one, again, up to you and how you play winger. You could go with more passing if you want. And go with uh, aerial if you want to jump higher as a winger. But I recommend the Travella, guys. It's it's good to have the Travella not only for shooting, so you can do out, outside the foot shot, but outside the foot pass, guys. It's very, very, very good. So these are the play styles and play style plus that I recommend for level 100 at winger. So now we have the skill tree for level 100. You're going to have 160 skill points. Max out your pace, everyone. Your job as a winger is to outpace your opponent, either take them on with a skill move, Go for the pass or the shot. So you want to be quick. This will give you 93 acceleration and 96 sprint speed. Should be plenty, plenty of pace to outpace your human defenders or even some bots. Now, for shooting, guys, we're going to get the four-star weak foot. You're going to get this shot power. And then on this right side, you're going to go with a five-star weak foot. As I've been saying throughout the whole video, it's important to have a five-star weak foot as a winger. So you can either shoot with both of your foot or pass with both of your foot. You also have 83 finishing, so if you're ever inside the box, you can have a rip. You also have the finesse shot plus or the regular finesse shot, whichever one you win with. So you do have some good shooting stats. And then 80 shot power, it's good. It's not the greatest, but there's other important stats as a winger that you got to focus on. So this is how we went with the shooting. So now for the passing, we're going to focus on some vision, some curve. Curve is important for the finesse shot, for crossing. Then you're going to focus on some short passing. Then we're going to get some vision, guys. We're going to get some long passing so we can get this vision here. Vision is very important as a winger. That's going to determine how accurate the pass, whether it's short, long pass, or crossing comes. So that's why we focus mostly on the vision. And at the same time, we got some stats out for the long pass. But don't worry too much about the long pass. What you really want to focus on is the vision. As long as the vision is in the mid to high 80s or 90s, this is really good. You'll be able to find your teammates on a through ball, on crosses, short passes, whatever it is. Now, for the dribbling, you're going to get agility, all the dribbling filled out. Get the middle row filled out. You can get the four-star skill move, the maestro archetype for this right side. You're going to get the links archetype. Make sure you get two out of two balance, guys. Make sure it's just two out of two for balance. You get more ball control, more ball control. This will give you 95 agility, guys, with 91 balance, guys. The balance is very important as a winger. A lot of people underestimate it. Most wingers have very low balance, and they get outbodied super easily. The balance is going to reduce the chances of your pro falling to the ground when you're being challenged, and you also have the press proven play style, which will make it even more difficult for them to knock you off. Then you have 95 ball control with 97 dribbling and the four-star skill move. The ball is going to be glued to your feet, and it's going to make it very difficult for opponents to get you off that ball because of that high balance. Then last but not least, we've got the physical. You're going to get stamina, and then you're going to get the reactions again, guys. Make sure the reactions is two out of two. The most important part about the physical is the stamina. You're going to be doing a lot of running through the wings. So you have 89 stamina, and then remember, you also, if you went with the relentless play style, that's going to help you recover more stamina during halftime, which will boost up your stamina bar back up. And then the reaction is super important, guys. That's going to allow your pro to react quick to the ball as you're about to receive it. And then you can just take off or take your opponents on a, on a 1v1, whatever 
the scenario is. Now, we back out. As I've been saying throughout the whole video, don't worry about the overall, guys. The overall is not really important. There's a whole separate video on the max rated overall if you care about that. The individual stats is one point. 94 pace, 77 shooting. Not the greatest shooting, but you got the five-star weak foot, which is important. You got 83 finishing, and then you have 80 shot power. Then you have 83 passing from the passing. The vision is the most important thing. Then the curve. Then you have 95 dribbling, guys. So this was the best level 100 winger built. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.